for the day to you beautiful people watching this other episode of Real Talk with Giuseppe. Here I've got my boys. What's up, yes. boys? The team. On? We're here. The blue team. This is not the blue man team. If you're wondering, <laughs> this is the Dream Moms team. We all have the same stylus. I don't know right. why today we just showed up with the same suit, but that's awesome. <laughs> it feels good. Yeah, yeah, that's a must-have. So, <laughs> actually, you guys watching, you are wondering probably what's going on. What is this crazy guy, Italian guy, going to talk about today? So. It's not a coincidence, all the success that we've been having in the, fast, in the past uh, year or so is not just because of me, because I'm nothing compared with these people. This is a powerhouse. These are the people that motivate me on a daily basis. These are the people that really elevate me as to become a better person, a better leader, and a better professional. So I'm going to go round robin with a bunch of us. There's another one on the other side, Habib. This is uh, yala, yala, yala. Yala, so yala, yala. If you guys, uh, <laughs> you'll find out that each one of us uh, has got, <laughs> you know, an area, a different car characteristic, and um, it's, it's going to be fun. Just watch this thing. Then we're going to ease in into uh, actually making phone calls live today, <coughs> which Ooh. nobody ever done this before. You know that? Uh, so I'm pretty sure there's got a lot of people are curious out there watching or will be watching. Say, what does it really mean to become a, a successful real estate professional? What, what, what does it entail? How many times so, did we get hung up on before? Exactly, yes. before you actually you. have an yep. appointment. So which <laughs> How many no's to it? Yeah. Right. Exactly. So let's start from uh, from my left here, actually, because <laughs> you've been here before. I've been here before. So <coughs> we got, who are you? Tell us a little bit. Well, hello, beautiful people. <laughs> I'm Anthony Palomares. <coughs> uh, I just joined the, the Dream Homes team. I'm very That's happy right. to be here. Um, I'm just coming back from a, a pretty bad motorcycle accident where I broke my femur about seven months ago. Um, I've stayed busy, stayed active, uh, but really joining this team and seeing the motivation and doing our affirmations and getting together and feeding <coughs> off of all these great agents and great people has just really brought me back and, um, and just being hungry again. So this is just a very good experience. and. I'm just awesome. happy to be aboard. Yeah, I mean, uh, Anthony is a, is a rock star. He closed over 100 deals in his career. So it's it's nice to see also how he handles phone calls. So you guys are going to be uh, having fun watching this video. I'll tell you that. <coughs> What's up? I just have This is the newest, the newest addition I'm to the, the team, newest actually. member to the team <laughs> right now. I just started about two weeks ago there. But um, my name is Alan McGeever. And yeah, I... Where are you from, man? I'm, I'm Irish. From here, I'm you? Irish. So <laughs> you, you, probably, you probably got that. Irish? From the, 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 the strange accent. So basically, uh, yeah, right? Um, I've been called all sorts, but uh, that's not the worst. Um, so basically, you know, I came to, to, to join a team that uh, I wanted to be motivated with. I wanted to uh, feel the energy when I came in in the morning, you know. And the moment I came and I met Joe and his team, I just felt that drive. And, you know, I, it took off from there. And I'm already, you know, pushing sales and hopefully getting, getting some people in their dream home. That's so right. I'm absolutely Agreed. delighted to join the team and I'm looking forward to 2018 and to see what's to see what's in store. So hopefully we can have some people at this what, year. You awesome. specialize in something too. Uh, really VA, too. so uh, ah. military ah. guys, uh, I, I'm your guy and I'm gonna help you guys hopefully uh, find uh, a right fit for you guys with, with your loans, you know, with the VA. We can talk so. about his past month, they might have to kill him, so. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> we can just yeah. talk about it, he's an expert, he's in the VA. Yes. Mm -hmm. So over here on my right, yep. we got David Kriza has been on the show before. Yes. Hello again. Rockstar David. Kriza. How are you? So David's got you know great know. wins. He's, uh, you know, moved on. He moved into a new place. Uh, uh, you know, it's the, the, the downtown uh, special. became a man. He became a man. Became a man. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Love so. that. So as you can tell, we all have a great energy here. So tell us a little bit about you, Dave. Uh, yeah, David Kriza uh, with the Dream Homes team. Been with you guys for God, probably about five, six months now. Um, yeah. From Michigan, Midwest guy. My boy Habib over there. Um, no more snow for me, so we're out here in the sunshine, <laughs> making dreams happen, uh, working with these guys. Everyone on our team is amazing. Our whole team is awesome. All you guys too at Real Talk San Diego, thank you. We appreciate you. <laughs> um, yeah, so any questions you guys have on buying, selling, give us one of us a call, yo. We'll get it done for you. Cool. Then, least but no last, <laughs> Mr. Valenzuela here. How's it going, guys? I've been, I've been started this whole thing with me uh, a year and a half ago, <coughs> and uh, me and him, I got him the first day to uh, to call expired listing. So it was a rough day, <laughs> to say the least. Yeah. That was the most amazing <laughs> thing we ever done. I think I've never heard as many f bombs on the phone. Exactly. Don't call me. First anymore. day on the job, the guy green as a as a you know, a, f I don't know, flower, and you're like, dude, this is a list. This is a computer. Start making phone call. 
okay, yeah. what do I say? I'm like, well, this is a script. <laughs> <laughs> this is expired <laughs> listing. Go for it. Try it. So I go, hops on the phone, and what happened? Uh, in that, that day, day? What happened? My gosh, everything, <laughs> you know. Uh, <laughs> first of all, expired listings are the toughest to call, right? Because they've already been bombarded by every other agent, you know. So when you call, it's like, you're the 40th agent. What do you have to tell me? What do you have to value? You know, if anything, click, you know. So it's mm -hmm. just like, it's a numbers game. You keep going. You'll hear a couple F-bombs, you know, but it's building your character and building your mindset. So you send people to... Gives you f bombs and hang up on you. I mean, uh, yeah, sometimes FBS. if they're not being too oh, mean, if they're not being too mean, you know. Sure. Uh. <laughs> so, guys, you have a, a little uh, a rough idea of what we go through on a on a daily basis. So this is a, a part of the team every day. So I want you to each one of you guys who wants to start interviewing or whatnot. Let's have a nice chat. Let's explain people how we <coughs> handle our day, how we handle our calendar, because it's very stressful. We got so many requests people pulling from a side to another you have a lender you have a buyer you have a seller you have whatever your family and so on and on so the biggest struggle for real estate professionals is two actually one have an epi medium and be you know somehow involved with their family and two make sales yeah. <laughs> so right. majority of agents in san diego what's the average now six eight sales a year maybe i think five to six yeah, yeah. about forty so let's say the market is good they're probably hitting at eight to ten now okay so you know average agent is about eight eight sales a year and uh people might think i'm like it's so easy <coughs> that you guys all driving mercedes or bmw which i'm sure you guys drive the same thing and uh, <laughs> so yeah. how did you achieve sure. that? Uh, how do you become successful? So I want to ask you a little bit around. You've been in the game for longer than, than, uh, than them. <coughs> so what's your, what's your take? So now you worked at Redfin. Watch out. You worked at Redfin. Now is working with us with the Dream Homes <coughs> team. What did you notice as far as what differences do you have now that you're prospecting? Uh, people are telling you to, you know, go on the other side right. of the world, <laughs> hanging up <laughs> on you, uh, no <laughs> shows, and so on. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a vast difference. It's, um, you know, at the end of the day, you're selling something, you're selling real estate, you're selling a product. Mm -hmm. So whether you're working at Redfin or working here, I mean, you're still selling yourself and you're trying to get people into their homes. Um, but the biggest difference that I've seen is just um, as becoming an agent for ourselves or working for the dream home team here, is um, you, you, although you have a team, um, you really need to hone your craft and really just uh, get out there and, and make those calls of, you know, we can make a hundred phone calls before we get somebody on that line, uh, which to some people can be very discouraging. Um, but for us, we see it as a challenge. You know, we have a right. board up in the office where we're constantly going back and forth and mm -hmm. bantering. Uh, so that's the beauty about being here is that you feel the energy. You feel, you just really feel a part of a team here um, that really makes you want to do better really motivate you um, and that's what i see as a big difference here is that we just really work as a big team and we feed off of each other um, the energy is really live and oh sorry <laughs> uh, so the energy is just really live it's just uh, it's just a big change and just to be working alongside a, a group of just you know fabulous agents and um, everybody has their own different uh, take on things so um, that's one thing that I really like as well is that uh, when we have our meetings it just seems like everybody's given this great input things you might not have thought about um, in your real estate career or how to advance in your career so um, working with the dream home team uh, won't let you down yeah I mean uh, you you said it right um, sorry we, we're throwing some phones <laughs> around here <laughs> So, he said it right, it's, and a lot has to do, I think it's, uh, you know, the, the dynamics in the office, I think that uh, has to do a lot with the success of each single agent that's part of the team. So, uh, I believe in that, I mean, I was part of the team for, all the team for many years, I learned a lot from it, and I tried to modify it a little more, because I think when you get too big, you forget about that one-on-one -on -one time, that, mm. that personal touch. Of, because, I mean, it's just so stressful, this thing. You know, <coughs> the best thing about us, there were not that many. We're like six of us as agents, plus, of course, the support team and whatnot. Uh, but if you have a bad day, like early today, I was having a bad day. <laughs> so I can just have a chat with you on a human level, and, and it's, it's all good. You know what I mean? You get back on, the, on <coughs> track, you get back on the horse, and uh, keep on riding it. Yep. So you're new. Right. Coming straight from the boat uh, from Ireland. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. Literally. 
<laughs> Better <laughs> late than never. Justice. So, so this is a the guy is super new, super fresh. You have ton of experience in sales. Yes. Um, so what's your take? You just started. Tell me a little bit about. Well, I, I, as you said, my past was sales, and I traveled throughout the world. Uh, you know, we my last sales job we dealt uh, exclusively with the military, so I've been uh, everywhere. I've been to Asia, Europe, all over the U.S., which was great because I got to travel a lot and I got to deal with a lot of different people. So that's where that's where my experience lies. Now, coming into your office, uh, what I found about it was, like you said, Anthony, the energy there, and each person has their own dynamic and not just that level of experience. And I just sat there and it was wonderful to just to listen to each guy on the phone when they were making their calls and each guy has their own way of doing things, which, was, which I was just like trying to grab as much as I could and absorb as much as I could when I went to make my calls. And then, um, like you said, it's a game of numbers. And from the very first day, um, mm -hmm. Ivan gave me the list, I started going through them, he gave me exactly 100. And on the 99th <laughs> call, the 99th call, I got through to somebody who was ready to buy a home. And I spoke with him for like 20 minutes, trying to use everything I absorbed, uh, you know, to, to make that connection with him. And uh, that was it. I left that day, you know, after my 99th call with, it, with an appointment. So, so that was a great that's start. That's and that's a hustler, won, you know, and so won. How made, made you... How did you feel like, you know, you've been there sitting for an hour calling a lot of people not responding or just shutting you down and whatnot. Then were you losing hope or were you more encouraging like, I got this, they're doing it, I got this. Well, I had that at the start, you know, and like you said, you start getting through the list then you start getting used to either no answers or no thanks, you know, so you don't expect right. that one person to turn around and say, hang on. Hold on. <laughs> yes, I was looking to speak with a professional like yourself. So then you're like, okay, hold on. Uh, you know, <laughs> you forget. <laughs> no, you know, yeah. Hang on. Like, <laughs> that's the way it is because you're at number 99. I mean, what's the chances? So that's actually what happened. And then you're shuffling through your script that I even had prepared for me, you know, because slightly different to what I'm used to. And you're, you're banging it out. But the, the guy was totally cool and uh, he, he didn't notice that I was, a, you know, uh, as unprepared as I thought I was. But uh, hopefully I came across cross okay to to get that uh, appointment for us you know which is great and then the energy level after because you know everybody could hear that, right, that exactly. I successfully done one on my first day so yeah. I was happy with that and, and as I said before I'm just dying to see what's in store right so, yeah. that's awesome and, and that's that's <coughs> the experience we wanted to have all of us you yes. know what I mean have that hope but don't you know we're living I was talking to Derek Evans here a week ago I think and we're talking about people quitting mm. man this quitting thing. It's like when shit gets hard, they all quit. Yeah. It's so easy yeah. to do that. You know what I mean? You just quit. You're gone. Whatever. Done. That's not, that's not the way to go, man. Life is hard no matter what. It's hard if you're a billionaire. It's hard if you're an entrepreneur getting into to become you know, more successful. It's hard for a starter. It's hard for a student. It's hard for every single person in the world. I think so it's consistency as well. You know, if I stopped at 98, <coughs> Yeah. I didn't go to that 99 call, I wouldn't have Exactly, you would have stopped. If you would have quit, so you're like, you know what, Money. I'm done for the day, I did 90 calls, mm -hmm. I'm done. But your consistency, your drive is going to push you through, and that's what is going to make a difference. That's why there's a one percenters in the world. So, going back to you, yes. Dave Kriza killed it. Uh, first month into January, he closed, what, three, three deals? So far, yeah. uh, three escrows yeah. from the get-go, amazing 2018 for you. So far, I hope yeah. you, you know, we're going to keep on that, uh, you Three know, months. being that's focused. Three uh, months. Yes, Three exactly. Months that's, that's your thing. So, so what changed within you? <coughs> you know, you've been in the business for a year <coughs> and a half, right? Yeah. It's kind of that, uh, what you were just talking about, like people, when they quit too much, and you get your back against the wall and you can roll over and you start swinging back and joined you guys in mid-November, came in and I just knew it's like, hey, there's, there's no other outlet. There's nothing else to do right now but work. So get to work. So you get on and we make our calls, we do our open houses, we do our showings, we do our follow-ups. It's all, you know, A, B, C, D. It just, they all kind of go in a row together. And you've got to do each step. You can't skip any because you're going to miss out on something if you do. Um, so it's all about the consistency and the drive, man. You know, out here working for myself, more, more importantly my family, though. I right. love my family. I want them to be out here, get out of, get out of Michigan and all that cold. So dad Surprise. just retired. Oh, God. Slide hey, in. guys. Um, <laughs> okay, good. Here you go. We got <laughs> So, <laughs> well, here. He's, a, he's a fellow <laughs> Michigan. <laughs> yes, Habib and I went to high school together. So, so <coughs> you're saying <coughs> the motivation is something that clicked that got you motivated more, right? Yeah, man. You just 
I really don't know what how, what to say or how to explain it, but it was just a, well, a, it, a, it a point came and it was yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. It exactly. was like within it, something came out. It was like no more, bro. Like you gotta you gotta go. So I That's went it. and here we are. Cool, killing it. My boy. What's up, brother? <laughs> What's up? Familia. So, Ivan, Ivan, you know, the, what I love about Ivan, like I said, a year and a half ago, maybe, was it? A year? A year ago, dude. A year ago. <laughs> Actually, yeah, so a, a year, year ago and a month. was Crazy. super green, just like you started, right? But less, we <coughs> didn't have a match of a sales experience. So, okay. the guy was just sweating his palms. We'll put on <laughs> Still do. Expire, which we're going to do right now. You guys would be amazed how good is that with the, with the making expire calls. But now, super successful, it's got the highest uh, rate, uh, you know, from, from call to the appointment because we track every single thing. So if you're wondering out there, well, how does it work to be a real estate? You just pick up the call, the phones, and I have the 99 calls, you guys have been around for No, we actually track and measure everything we do. So, and you have to make a lot of phone calls. So Ivan, what changed in the last year? Everything. Uh, <laughs> It's hard to generalize, you know. It's uh, it's a lot of hard work placed in the, in the right direction, you know. So I, I start off in the morning watching positive videos, you know, and the right positive videos, you know, because you can. There's a bunch of junk out there online, right? You could be watching videos all day and watch oh, yeah. the wrong mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. So I filter throughout, you know. I, I find the videos that resonate most with me and what I'm trying to accomplish and the goals that I'm chasing. And so I brainwash myself daily with these mindsets, th these affirmations that we do all together, right? We jump on the call and we all say what our focus is, what we're working on today, our long-term goals, short-term goals. And it just, it's, it creates that mental toughness. And once those rainy days do come in, you're able to see the sunshine. You're able That's to look right. at your boys and feed off of them and keep mm -hmm. going and make that extra call. That's you know, right. so I'm blessed to have these boys. I'm happy, and uh, I'd recommend any one of them. I'd buy a house from any one of them. So <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. We know a guy. So oh, Habib yeah. wasn't here before. Uh, he's just joined us background right now. Habib is part of our team. Habib is a, is a very interesting person, <laughs> and I'm so happy having him on board. He's like a stylish uh, GQ model. Trying to take care <laughs> of you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Got to keep up. I love his energy. So tell us a little bit about your, your background. What's changing <clears throat> since you joined us, and you know what we're heading to? Uh, well, I have a business background. Um, I moved from Michigan as well with David. Well, not with David, but I went to high school with him. Uh, came here about two and a half years ago chasing the California dream, which mm -hmm. everyone is. Um, ended up investing in some businesses. Uh, did that for a couple of years. Still involved in that, but I realized you know, real estate is my passion. Uh, so I had a background in luxury housing. Um, I figured why not move to California and sell big houses. So yeah. mm -hmm. here I am. I met the, the whole crew earlier at a different, uh, a different time, and it just so happened that we lined up. and. I had the opportunity to join this great team, and like all these guys said, the energy's there. It's nice to be around them every day. Um, they all wear the same suits, so it's, it's a nice, comfortable, <laughs> it's a comfortable place for us to be in. So it feels good that the other yeah, people are gonna wear a suit yeah. and look good, looks right? Good, it's not just me. Good. Like, yeah. It's <laughs> funny because somebody said that. Somebody uh, they mentioned messaged me on Instagram. They're like, hey, you know, I noticed you guys kind of all have the same similar swag. Yeah. I said, you know, and I, I was like, like it. Yeah. thanks. Comes I down to it. it. You know, what? I have a, a belief. My dad used to swag. wear a suit to the fruit uh, the fruit market. So if you feel good, you, you look good, you you perform better, you, and you feel better about yourself. So your confidence levels are up there 100 so that's, yeah. that's what i, I feel like good dress yeah, exactly. <laughs> dress is just a success you know what i mean so you in the feel way the way you dress look. and you see yeah, yeah you feel you really look it's so important it's like your your business card you know mm -hmm. you, yeah. they just look at you and like oh wow this guy's sharp it exactly. doesn't matter what you do especially in real estate which is the you know the highest price you can sell something for mm -hmm. and you have doesn't matter if your client has shorts or flip-flops or whatnot that's our rule by the way we all wear suits so it's not just because we're shooting this today <laughs> oh my gosh that's how we roll i want to so, say something real, real quick yeah. funny thing you guys gotta hear joe the other day we were talking he's talking about when he wakes up in the morning he's getting dressed before he leaves he stops and looks at the mirror he's like you're selling a house today. You look, you look <laughs> way too good not Damn to sell a good. house today. You know? That's like the pep talk. Yeah, absolutely. Before you get out of the house. It's your mindset, though, absolutely. It is. Yeah. You do your thing, you know, and you know, the best part is when my fiance looks at me, he's like, oh, you're hot. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like I know. I picked the right stuff then. Right. <laughs> is that <a> joke? <laughs> yeah, it's like, really? Huh. Cool. So let's rock and roll. Give me your phone. Oh. We're about to experience Sunday life. Guys, we're going to do round robin. Each one Let's of us it. is going to be <coughs> answering the call. I know you're nervous. You uh, guys want to add anything? Sweaty hands coming up? back. Can I wait to call number 99? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, dude. We skip through. Oh, man. 
Yeah. Are these today's expires or old expires? Yeah, <laughs> right. It's a different so guys, we're going to call expired <laughs> listings. These are the toughest people on to get on the phones. You know, this requires real sales skills, knowledge of the market, you know, and not only that, but mental toughness, you know, because we're obviously going to get some not very nice words thrown at us, you know, we're going to get declined. You get a lot of no's, you know, but it's a numbers game, right? You know, it's kind of like going out to the club and the more uh, no's you get from the girls, eventually you're going to get No, no one knows where that's right? going. You know, it's, like, it's a numbers game, man. Let's keep going. It's not like swiping left. Bro. Yeah, right. <laughs> right, so what we're doing right now, oh, sorry. Uh, we, we're basically logging in into our system. We're pulling out data, which so is expired game. listings. So we're doing this live. Oh, God. I oh, never great. done this before. Let's do it. Has any of the guests here done anything like this? Like no, call calling? We've never done live calls. Bait marketplace. Before. Don't let anyone else do it anymore. Exclusive. Exclusive Dream Home Steam this Boys. This is what we do. This is what we do. So, like, this is not something we're doing right now to show off. We do this like three, four hours a day. <laughs> All right. It's cold, bro. Yeah. Oh, no, that's <laughs> good. Keep it. This is good. Perfect. My time. hands are still sweating, though. <laughs> All right. Three, two, one, game Action. on. Who's the first? I'll go. Who are we calling? <coughs> That's uncle. Cool. That says <sighs> hey, my cousin. Likes you. <laughs> Maybe he's a Habibi, too. Live sales calls. I soon. Yeah. This is... All right, so this thing, the system is dialing three numbers at a time. So we're trying Efficiency. to reach up mm -hmm. and be really <coughs> efficient. The best part is when two of the, <laughs> the three. <laughs> 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 Please leave a message. Uh, we're not leaving voicemails. No voicemail. We're waiting for the real Somebody. live call. Somebody. Put my phone number in there, I'll answer. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the best time to call, so usually we call. This is what the game is. That's what the game <coughs> is. It's a waiting is. game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if, if you, when we look at the numbers, we I think we do an average of 120 to 150 dials per day each. So explain the purpose behind prospecting. What's your goal? Well, the goal obviously somebody's asking here. Obviously, thank you for asking, Claire. <laughs> 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 so we're calling that with the hope to book an appointment. So build report, bring value, go to the go for the appointment. Obviously, I always still have every. Hello? Hello? Hi, Cynthia yeah, available? Elizabeth. Hi, this is Habib with the Dream Homes team. How are you today? Who are you with? My name is Habib with the Dream Homes team. How are you? Oh, no, no, I'm not selling. <laughs> You're not selling? Are you the owner at 1914 Willows? And there's a hangup. So that's it. <laughs> <laughs> and we go so to the next one. Yes. <laughs> All right. <coughs> All she right. already knew she heard real estate. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I said, nah, 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 who are nah. you? <coughs> so this is real stuff, you guys. You can't, you can't blame these, these clients because they may have had a, a bad experience right. or getting hundreds of calls every morning. This is the top real estate market, you know, yeah. in, in California. So we're not the only ones out there doing yeah, that. So, so they're, they're, they're already getting a bunch of calls. Hello? Hello? Hi, is this beautiful Lisa? Hello? Hi, Lisa. Hello. This is Alan here with... This is Alan here with the Dream Homes team, San Diego. Yeah, How are you doing Lisa today? Oh. This you is not Lisa's number. Okay, is Lisa uh, Roswell? Yeah, they posted the wrong number for Lisa. This number does not belong to Lisa. Okay, sorry about that. You have a good day. Do you have a house for sale? <laughs> I would have asked her. I would have asked her. I was like, "Are you renting or owning?" So I should have. <laughs> I should have just. Somebody just He's that. learning. He's learning. Hey guys, this. Sorry. <laughs> People even like literally cut the phone line after they expire their power. I'm serious. I'm That's budget. true. That or they'll change their voicemail. <laughs> People will change their voicemail on their voicemail. People will change their voicemail and the voicemail will say, if this is a real estate agent, please hang up. Don't y'all there me. <laughs> don't call me again. Everybody else. The voicemail yeah. that they change, that means everybody's calling and receiving them <coughs> still. Come on, guys. 
while this is we're happening, we usually we look up properties. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Think about stuff we did the day before. <laughs> <laughs> but this is it, man. It's the downtime. You sit here, 100. Uh, please state your name after the tone, and Google Voice will try to connect you. Joe? Joe? Majority of people are at work right now, yeah. so yeah. that's not the best time to call. We usually call about 8 a.m., <coughs> then uh, pretty good after five to six, yeah, yeah, after 5. Now, we're calling here, we're calling expired, so people that whose house obviously didn't sell before for one reason or another. Now, looking at San Diego, we've got a really huge shortage of inventory, right? We're operating at about, what, 27, a little under 27%, you know? So not a lot of homes on the market. So we're calling these people, trying to create inventory for our clients trying to find new houses to put on the market to deal with that shortage. You know, and not only that, to really uh, find the right house for our clients as well, because mm -hmm. that's what we're in this business for, right? Yeah, to I think help from, people. from the get-go, it shouldn't be expiring due, due to the fact that it's a seller's market right now. I don't see why all these problems yeah. are, you know, they, they're expiring. Yeah. I mean, when we do market research, you see it's either price too high or the exposure that wasn't done properly to the property. So, like, no staging, nothing to it. They just yeah. take pictures of with their cell phone. As a no matter of fact, you know, right, there's 27,000 agents here. They don't know what they're doing. And uh, that links in with <coughs> your sale by owners as well, because that right. will happen a yeah, lot. Question. Uh, there's, because question. there's a question. I can, uh, we've got a question that came in. It says, do you ever talk to people who didn't realize they wanted to sell, but after talking to you, changed their mind? Absolutely. Yeah. You know, yeah. That's what all we do. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah, that's where the, the skill time. is. You know, that's why we practice so many calls. That's why we go to the training, you know, because yeah. we're ultimately here to help people make the right decision, you know. And if it's a dream of yours to sell your house and, and buy the big one, and let's say for some reason you're... You reached the Cummings family at... Sorry. And let's say for some reason your house didn't sell, they didn't do the right marketing, they didn't price it right strategically, right, to really get all the uh, appeal, then uh, your dream was left in ruins, you know. And so okay. we're kind of here to pick that up. We're here to pick up that dream and make it happen, you know? So, but I think what's, uh, you know, what's important to, to tell people is each situation is different. So what I like always to do is sit down, explore the different, the financial situation in that particular moment for the family that's go ongoing. Hello? Almost. Uh, right, because a lot of people don't realize <laughs> what their home's worth. They, right. they haven't seen the value of their home in the last two years yeah. in black and white. And they say, oh my gosh, my home's worth 500000 now? Mm -hmm. I bought it for 280000 Like, I can use that money to pay off student loans or do debts, things like that. So, yes, yeah, so a lot of people don't realize they're ready to move until they see the numbers. Exactly. Like, yeah. In the past, I've experienced doing some open houses, and uh, you give the information around the neighborhood Hello. prior to the open house. Hold on, we got Hello. Hi, good Hello. afternoon. Yes, good afternoon, Mr. Bennett. This is uh, Joe with the Dream Home Steam. How are you doing? Uh, sorry to bother you. I was just uh, simply calling you because uh, I noticed that the, you had owned the property on uh, Merlo Avenue in San Marcos. So I was wondering if it's on or off the market. It's off the market. Can you please remove me from your call list? Absolutely. We're going to do that. What changed, if you don't mind asking? How come he's off the market at this point? He no, wasn't no. having right. it. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a perfect example of someone that's already heard 100 yeah, right. real estate that's calls right. and you know, you got to try to peel back the layers once you get them on the phone and, and, and go from there. You can't get <coughs> discouraged. That's the number one thing. Right. Like you said, the number one <coughs> call, we've, every agent has a story like that. Three hours, no calls, no answer, then boom, the last call, you get, you know, your listing. So it's, a, it's important to keep your enthusiasm throughout that process. I think that's the key for us, yeah. too. You're, you'll hear it through your voice. If yeah, you're yeah. Hello? Hello. Hello. Hey, Jose. I can help you. Jose, this is David with the Dream Homes team. How's your day going today? Mm -hmm. I work with the Dream Home team at Big Block. Uh, I was given a call. Do you own the property at 428 Felicita Avenue? Yeah, we're not selling it no more. We're keeping it. Okay. What's changed that you guys don't want to make that move anymore? Uh, we just want to keep it. Okay. Nothing cool. really. No? Where were you guys going to move to if you did sell it in, uh, initially? Uh, hung up. See, every, call, every call gets further and further and further. One further. more, one more. One more. <laughs> and it's a little longer call. Yeah. It's a little long. Now you have a minute, minute, two minutes, you're digging, digging. It's like peeling the onion. Or we can just call more. him back. Like, I think we got disconnected. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, I hung up on you, bud. Yeah. Try, to get, try to get another call in. 
See if they answer. Last yeah. call in, then we'll wrap it up. Alex, um, uh, another guy who's part of the team. He actually, I was in the office with him. It was just me and him um, one night last week. Hello, Christine. This is Ivan. How you doing? Ivan. Yes, this is Ivan with the Dream Homes team. I'm calling in regards to the Lake Oral Drive. I'm wondering, are you still interested in oh, selling? The dream Homes. Dream Homes. Okay, I I uh, didn't know where you were calling from. Oh, absolutely. We uh we do a lot of business in your area, so uh, I just wanted to call in regards to your property. And I'm curious, are you still interested in selling? I noticed it expired. Yes, I am, but I have already gotten a uh, real estate agent. Uh, it's through a, a long-time relationship. Okay. Uh, the first time I sold the house, I wasn't really that sure that I wanted to do it yet. Right. Um, my husband just recently passed. I'm so sorry I, to hear uh, that. Oh, thank you. Uh, I am still in the process of updating it, though, and okay. once that's done, then we're going to be putting it online. Now, I Terry, what, what updates are you doing? I'm Chris. Oh, sorry, Christine. Sorry, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Perry, I just saw the name. Yeah, I know they're two female names. <laughs> right, right. Perry no worries, my Christine. So, uh, what, what types of upgrades are you doing to the home? Well, I, <laughs> I uh, gutted the kitchen and had it done uh, while I was away for six weeks. Okay. And uh, the permit still hasn't come back yet for the uh, expansion of the master bath. Wow. So, uh, I'm. Once that's done, then it's going to be listed. Oh, wow, Christine. And you plan Master on listing with this agent that is a friend, right? Uh, yeah, well, yes, and he's been following me. Well, it's not a personal friend. He's a business friend. Okay. Uh, is he a 100% real estate agent? That's all he does? That is all he does. Okay, okay. He's with Keller Williams. Oh, nice. I actually used to be with uh, Keller Williams myself, you know, and... Uh, once I changed this, joined this brokerage, it just took my business to the next level, you know, just because of the tools that yeah, they have here allowed yeah. me to market the properties a lot better. Well, mm -hmm. hopefully uh, Ryan will be able to do the job for me, and uh, I can move on uh, to Florida. And, nice. uh, what are you going to be doing in Florida? Uh, Is that like a retirement uh, dream? Oh, that was never on my radar, but okay. my daughter has there and oh. I have other family members there uh -huh. and they're all pushing hard to get me out of this house and moving forward so that's good you know uh, um you definitely uh, <laughs> right now you have to progress yeah. you know move forward in life and you know if fine, leaving the past fine. behind mm -hmm. now we're, we're yeah. in Florida you're moving because we actually have a team in Miami we have dream homes Miami as well which we opened up an office over there are you uh, going to be around the area? It'll be in the Tampa area. It'll be in the Tampa area. Ah, Tampa. No, unfortunately, we don't. Uh, uh, we don't service that area. But n now, Christine, let me ask you a little bit more about uh, this agent you plan on going with. Uh, you said uh, you might be a hundred percent committed. Now, have you looked at their ra track record? Because we sell a lot of homes in that area, right? And you know, this is a huge investment opportunity. You know, for you to uh, really cash out and make your dream happen in Florida, right? And continue living the the life that you'd like. So. Yeah. I was wondering if maybe we can stop by just for like 10, 15 minutes, take a view of the property. We can just tell a bit, a little bit about our marketing and what we do differently. And there's no obligation, you know, I'm not going to try to persuade you to leave the agent that you're working with. And not only that, but I can also get an idea of what's on the market and what inventory we have, right? Because we have such a huge shortage. Well, right now, uh, I'll tell you the truth. I have already taken quite a few real estate agents up on that offer right. and found that the opinions and marketing plans mm -hmm. vary so widely that my head has spun. Right. So uh, what I'm going to do is stick with Ryan. Ryan does have a good track record. Okay. The first one that I had had no track record. But that I did on purpose because I just really wanted to please my family. Okay, <laughs> so that makes sense. Yeah, anyway, absolutely. Uh, no. Yeah, and, and I figured, uh, you know, being that weak, if a star is aligned, my house would sell without the updates. So, yeah. uh, and of course, that did not happen. Okay. But now I'm serious, and so here we go. Um, I'm, I am using Ryan. He's followed me for about ten years. Right. And right met with my husband and I a number of times over the years because we knew my husband was going to pass away uh, soon. So uh, anyway, that's uh, my choice, 
and right. I really don't want to go through the uh, whole interview process again because I'm still going to go with Ryan even if you were really, really good. Right. I could only put you in second place if he failed me. Okay. So, okay. And he is going. He is not going under contract uh, for, for a six-month lock-in either. Uh, mm. he, it'll be. I will go with someone else if I feel he's not doing the job. Uh -huh. to allow me to do that. So, if you would like to throw your hat in the ring by just sending me what you've got, you know, as far as you know, any kind of advertising or or background or something. Absolutely. I'm so I can do is. I'll send you a copy of our track record in the area, you know. Uh, we also do a lot of uh, heavy-duty uh, marketing, right? So we do, like, aerial video. Um, we yeah. do uh, professional <laughs> photography and staging. Does uh, does uh, your agent do staging? <laughs> he, he is going to get rid of everything in my house. Okay. Except for a few okay. things. So, yeah, okay. he'll, he'll be doing nice. staging, but only with what he's going to allow me to keep. Ah, nice. Okay, so <laughs> he's... going to uh, put the rest involved. in storage. Uh, I've already decluttered quite a bit, but he feels that I still have more furniture, that the house could look larger, and I agree. So anyway, yeah, right. that is important. I realize that. All right, Christine. Have now, a, a pretty good marketing plan. That's awesome. Yeah, I uh, I could imagine. You know, now uh, we do have a database of about seventeen thousand buyers, and I was wondering if I can hold on to your property, perhaps as a pocket listing. You know, so I can offer it to them uh, as off the market. That way, you could also uh, avoid the stresses of actually, you know, having to go with the staging and putting <laughs> it on you the market. You want to sneak it in before I list it? Uh -huh. Fine. Uh, okay. Do a pocket listing. Uh, I know Ryan did not uh, suggest that to me. Okay. But. Uh, I'll tell you the truth, mm -hmm. I'm locked into this contract to have the bathroom done regardless. Okay. So, um, now, I mean, if you could sell it off market, you can uh, avoid the fees, you know, and uh, save some money also and some time, right? Because you have to uh, allow the showings on the house, you know, constantly. So right, now. Right. Mm -hmm. So I just want to let you know, though, that mm -hmm. uh, we can't uh, say, oh, gee, they'll take the half bath because I did have a person come by and said they didn't care about that. And I said, I cannot get out of this contract. It'll cost me six thousand dollars to do that, right. and I uh, I wasn't going to throw that money away. Right. Uh, so I'm spending twenty six thousand to get it uh, expanded, and we're knocking out an exterior wall. That's okay. why we have the uh, permit situation going on right now. Mm -hmm. uh, Christine, so I've got a client coming in right now at two o'clock. Um, sorry, he's walking into the office right now. So what I would suggest is, honestly, uh, that house will sell like, like butter, you know. So I actually have a client that's looking in the area. Uh, he was looking around La Mesa, San Carlos, Del Cerro. So I was wondering if I can preview it with him. I'll be, uh, I'll be meeting with him Saturday around 10 a.m. Can I reach out to you and confirm, that that's if, see if that time works for you? I will tell you what. Mm -hmm. Saturday is a bad day for me. Okay, no worries. I mean, he's flexible. He owns his own business, so. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Uh, now, what day is good for so you, Christine? Uh, any other day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Let's do Sunday. Let's do Sunday. I've got church as well, so let's do, uh, can we do 1 p.m.? Would yeah, that work? Well let's, uh, well, let's don't make it firm. You call me. I'll call you to confirm. It's tentative. Uh-huh. No worries, okay? I don't want you to yeah. stress out at all. Uh -huh. Ryan, so no. Ryan can't complain about that. Uh, this is my own efforts. I work hard. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's just uh, do, a, do, do yourself a favor. Uh, there are uh, some uh, a number of pictures of my house uh, that are right. online. Okay. I think you can still access them. Right, but pictures a lot of times don't do a property justice, you know. So. Well, they won't. Uh, they mm -hmm. won't. Yeah, and if you're doing upgrades too. Dramatic right. now. Uh, the bathroom's gonna look even better, but the rest of the house still looks exactly the same. So awesome, Christine. Take, take very good professional pictures. Uh, okay. Let the guy take a look at it and let him figure out whether or not he wants to come by because Perfect. I, I really hate to waste time. Yeah, of time. course. No, we don't want to waste your time either. So and what I'll do is I'll give you a call on I, Thursday. I, Sound yeah. good? Of course, I agree. 
Blow me in and blow me out, okay? And then you give me a call back and tell me if they really want to see it. All right, absolutely. I'll call you Thursday evening uh, or afternoon, say around this time, okay? Have a nice day. Okay. Have a wonderful day, Christina. What is your name again? Ivan. Ivan with the Dream Homes team. I'll send you a, a text message and an email. That way you have my uh, info there as well as a little invite on your calendar. That would be a very good idea. Very good idea. All right. Looking okay. forward to it. You have Thank a good so one. Much, Ivan. See you Sunday. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Voila. All right. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> so, no. okay. Thank, Thank you so job. much. Thank you so <laughs> much. Okay. We're wrapping it up. This is just a Ooh. quick like 30 minutes to oh. see what we go through. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you want to join the team or want to inquire about joining the team or any questions about real estate and what we do, you know how to reach us. You'll find all our contact information there. Thank you so much. Bye, Ciao. guys. Love you.